this week's equipment class. For today's class, you're just gonna need a mat, a headrest, and then a circular cushion, two light weights, a looped resistance band, and then either a foam roller or a small ball. So we'll get started off with the warm up. We'll start off on our hands and knees. So knees directly under your hips, hands should be directly under your shoulders. Starting off by dropping the ribcage all the way down, arching the back, looking up in front, and then rounding out the spine, looking down between the knees. Dropping the ribcage down, arching the back, looking up in front. And rounding out the spine, looking down between the knees. Again, dropping the ribcage down, arching the back and looking up. And once more, rounding out the spine, looking down between the knees. And then coming to a neutral flat back position, we're going to twist the left toes to the outside of the mat, looking to the left. Back to the center, twist the right toes to the outside of the mat and look to the right. And then looking to the left, good. And looking to the right, good. Really trying to stretch that foot out, just getting a bit of internal rotation into the hip, which is usually quite stiff. Good, one more to the right. And then we're gonna get a neutral spine again, straighten out that right leg behind. And then the left arm in front. Once you have your balance here, small circles with the arm and leg, try to keep the back nice and flat here. Keep looking down towards the mat and lower down. Left leg, right arm, keeping the back nice and flat again. Small circles with the arm and leg. And lower down. Shift all the way over to the left side, straighten out the right leg and the right arm. Once you have your balance here, small circles, keeping the hips parallel to the mat. And lower down, shift the weight to the right side, straighten out the left leg and the left arm. Focus on getting the hips parallel again, and then small circles. And lower down. Dig the toes underneath, pinch the shoulders back, lift the knees up, and we'll hold this for eight more seconds. For six, five, four, three, two, and one. Lower down. Dig the toes in underneath, pinch the shoulders back, lift the knees up, lift up the right hand and the left, right, left, right, left. One more on the right, one more on the left, and lower. Dig the toes underneath, pinch the shoulders back, lift the knees up, lift up the right foot and the left foot. Right, left, right. Left, right, left, one more on the right, last one on the left, and lower down. Then we're just gonna twist open to the right side, get a nice stretch through the thoracic spine. And then twisting open to the left. Good, and then we'll just do an exercise here for the glutes before we come onto our back. So we're gonna come onto our forearms. We're gonna straighten that right leg out behind you. So keep your back nice and flat. Make sure that you're not arching. So really keep your ribs tucked in here. And then we're just gonna do a lift straight up and then lower down. So lifting straight up and lower. So really feeling a contraction in the right glutes and making sure to keep the back nice and flat. So keep your shoulders pinched back. You want that leg to come into a nice straight line straight up, really keeping your rib cage tucked in. So imagine you're tucking your rib cage down towards your belly button this whole time. Good, now we're gonna do 10 pulses. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Switching sides. So you should be feeling that in the right glutes. Now we're gonna straighten up that left leg. So straight up and lower back down, tapping off the ground, lifting straight up. In a straight line, make sure you're not coming out to the side. So keeping the shoulders pinched back, keeping the neck nice and long, tucking that rib cage down towards your belly button. We have five more here, and then we'll do 10 pulses. Three more, two, and one. Hold it up for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Resting that knee down. Open the knees nice and wide, sit back into the heels. 
into child's pose, just stretching out the shoulders. Walking the hands over to the left side of the mat, leaning your body to the right. And opposite side, leaning your body to the left. And then we'll come onto our back. And we'll just start off with some toe taps just to warm up the core. So just same as usual here. So imprinting the spine, bringing the legs up in the tabletop, tapping that right foot down and then the left foot. So nice soft taps here. Gradually tapping a little bit further away, keeping those shoulders relaxed. Good. Three, two, and one. Squeeze the legs together, tap both feet down, back up into tabletop. If your back is lifting, just not tapping the full way down. And then gradually tapping a little bit further away, keeping those shoulders relaxed, spines imprinted. Good, four more. Three, two, and one. Resting the feet down. We'll grab the circular band, bring the feet through the band, bring it up to above the knees. And then just starting off with some nice, easy uh, hip abduction just to target the outer glutes, the glute med muscle, the gluteus medius, and we're bringing the knees apart, spines imprinted, and knees back together. So apart nice and wide, and back together. Keep pressing your low back towards the mat. Keep your ribs tucked in, shoulders relaxed. Good, and we have four more. Three, two, and one. And then we'll grab the roller or ball, bring the two feet onto the ball or roller. Imprint the spine, keeping tension in the band. We'll imprint the spine and lift the hips up. Squeeze the glutes and then slowly control as you lower down. Imprint and lift and lower nice and controlled. Make sure you're keeping your hips tucked back as you lower. So don't lower with that arched low back essentially. You want to control the movement. You want to lower from the top of the spine as if you're lying down a string of pearls. So one pearl at a time should lower down. So it's vertebrae by vertebrae. Good, three more, two, last one, keep the hips up, bring the knees apart, together, apart, together, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten, lower down. Then next up, elbows on the mat, hands on the ribcage, imprint, lifting up. Squeeze the glutes, lower down nice and slow. Again, vertebrae by vertebrae. Last thing to hit is the tailbone. Imprint, lifting up and controlling on the way down. And we have five more. Three, two, and one more. Lifting up, keep the hips up, right knee out to the side, left knee out to the side, right, left, right, left, keep the hips up nice and tight, squeeze the glutes, right, left, right, left, one more on the right, one more on the left, and lower down. Cross the arms, cross the chest, shoulders are relaxed, imprint, lifting up, and lower down, good, imprint and lift, and lower Lifting up, keep tension in the band, lower down. Lift and lower. Good, we have three more. And then two. And on the last one, keep the knees nice and wide. We're just gonna do small pulses. So keep the knees wide, squeeze the glutes, lift the hips up just a few inches. Really working the glutes here for five, four, three, two, and one. Woo, hopefully you're feeling that in the glutes. I know I am. 
Move the roller out of the way. Especially with the ones we did at the beginning as well. We're doing a lot of glute stuff today. And we'll imprint the spine, legs in the tabletop, knees nice and wide, and back together. Apart and together. Apart together. Three, two, one. Keep the knees apart. Tuck the chin to the chest, rolling forward. Start to beat the arms for in, two, three, four, five. Out, two, three, four, five. In, two, four, five. Out, two, three, four, five. In, two, four, five. Out, two, three, four, five. In, two, four, five. Out, two, three, four, five. In, two, four, five. Out, two, three, four, five. Keep the knees nice and wide. Out, two, three, four, five. In, two, four, five. Out, two, three, four, five. In, two. Four, five, out, two, three, four, five. See if you can roll up a little bit further for the last two. Out, two, three, four, five. Last one. Out, two, three, four, five. Resting the head back. Rest the legs down. And then we'll imprint the spine. Straighten up that right leg. A little bit of tension in the band. Imprint the spine. If you want to make it harder, bring the elbows on the mat. Lift the hips up. And lower back down. Imprint and lift and lower. Lift and lower. Keep tension the whole time. And lower. Lift and lower. Four more. Three. Two. Keep the hips up on the last one. Right leg out to the side together. Out to the side together. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine and ten. Bend the right leg, rest the hips down. Straighten up that left leg. Bit of tension to start off. If you want to make it harder, elbows on the mat. Imprint, lifting up and lower. Imprint and lift and lower. Lift and lower. Keeping tension, let keep those hips level. Don't let the left hip drop. Good, we have three more, two, last one, keep the hips up, left leg out to the side together, out to the side together, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten, resting down, bending the legs, and then we'll imprint the spine, legs to tabletop, bring the band around the ankles, Bit of tension and then back together. Out to out apart and back together. Apart together. Apart together. Five, four, three, two, one. Straighten the legs up. Twist the feet up slightly. Apart together. Try to keep the legs as straight as you can. I know I have tight hamstrings too, so it's okay if you bend the knees a little bit. Keeping that spine imprinted for three, two, one. Keep tension, lower the legs and lift back up. Lower and lift, lower and lift. Keep the spine imprinted. Really working the lower abs with this one. Good, three, two, and one. And rest the legs down. We're gonna bring the band around the midfoot, so around the arch, we're gonna straighten the legs out. This is a different one here. So we're gonna combine two movements. Let's move these out of the way. So we're gonna drive the right knee to the, towards the chest, and then we're gonna come up and bring the elbow to the knee, and then back down and switch. If this is painful at all, just keep the upper body up. Just focus on the leg movements. Just alternate each side. So the ones they usually do, but if you're able, try to sit up, twist, and lower. Left leg, good, right leg, left, good, alternating each side, letting the upper body twist if you can. We have three more, two, and one. Good, lower down, put the band out of the way. Don't worry if you can't do that one, it's quite a difficult one. So it's just making things a little bit harder. So if, if you find that very difficult, just focus on just getting the hip flexion. 
Otherwise, if you're able, do try to sit up, even if you don't fully get off the mat. If you get a little bit of twist, it just brings the obliques into it a little bit more. And then when you're ready, we'll grab the circle. And we'll start off with the legs in tabletop. Circle just above the knees. Shins are parallel. Squeeze the circle and relax. Squeeze and relax for three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Keep the circle squeezed. Right knee out to the side. Back together. Left knee. Right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left. One more on the right. One more on the left. And lower down. Squeeze the circle nice and tight. Cross the arms across the chest. Imprint and lift and lower. Keep the circle squeezed and lower. Lift and lower. Good. Two more. Last one. Keep the hips up. Bring the knees apart together, apart together. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Squeeze the circle. Right knee out to the side. Left knee out to the side. Right, left. Keep the hips up nice and high. Right, left, right, left, right, left. One more on the right, one more on the left. And lower down. Then we'll grab the ball or roller again. We're going to do a few single leg bridges so it's a little bit harder. If you find it too difficult, you can just do them down on the mat. So the easiest option is just don't lift the hips up at all. And then harder option is just on the mat. And then next hardest would be the roller. And then even harder would be the ball. So kind of choose yourself whatever you're able to do. So a little bit harder than again if you bring the elbows on the mat. So we're going to straighten up that left leg. Right foot on the ball, roller, mat, whichever you choose. Keep the circle squeezed. Imprint, lifting up, and lower. Imprint and lift, and lower. Imprint and lift, and lower. Keep that circle squeezed. Try to get the hips up all the way. We have four more. Three, two, and one more. Good, lower down. Then we'll switch to the other leg. Left foot on the roller ball mat, right leg up in front. Squeeze that circle, elbows on the mat or arms down. Imprint, lifting up and lower. Lift and lower for three, four, five, seven, nine, oh, skipped one, nine, and ten. Perfect. Nearly skipped one there. And then we'll switch back over. So right foot on the roller ball, whichever, and then left foot just up in the air. Squeeze the circle. And then for this one, we're gonna keep the hips up. We're gonna bring the leg out to the side and back together. So imprint, lifting up. Left leg out to the side together for two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine and ten. Switching over. Last set here, nearly there. I know these are tough. Left foot on the roller, right leg up in front. Imprint, lifting up, right leg out to the side and together. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Perfect. Put the roller out of the way. And we'll grab the circle. Just a few more here with the circle. We're just going to bring it down between the ankles for the last few. And then lace the tabletop and squeeze and relax. Good. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine and ten. Straighten the legs up. Squeeze and relax. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
nine and ten. Last one, keep the circle squeezed, lower and lift, lower and lift. Really keep that spine imprinted. Keep the circle squeezed. Good. Four, three, two, and one. Bend the knees, and then we'll put the circle to the side. And then we'll come onto our backs, grab a weight in each hand, if you wanna make it harder, otherwise don't use any weights. Reaching the arms back behind you, arms forward, chin to chest, rolling up, shoulders pinched back, slowly rolling down, reaching back, arms forward, chin to chest, rolling up, and rolling down, rolling up, and back down. If you want to make it harder, reaching up, reaching up, and lower, and rolling up, and back down. We have three more. Two, and one more. And back down. Perfect. So we'll put the weights to the side. Then we'll come onto our side. So I'm going to start off with the elbow just on up and then going onto the knee. If you want to make it harder, grab a weight in that top arm and hold the arm straight up. This is optional. It's a little bit harder. If you don't want that, just put it to the side. And if you want to make this easier, always you can go all the way down onto your side. If you want to make it harder, you can straighten both legs up. So there's always ways to adjust every exercise. So elbow directly under the shoulder or even a little bit closer to you. I'm going to bend that bottom knee, arm straight up, lift the hips up high and lower for two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Keep that arm up. Lift the top leg for two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Keep the leg up. We're going to kick the toes forward and bring them back. So make sure that the leg stays straight. You don't want the low back to arch. So the leg is just moving kind of like a pendulum. Just back and forth. Keep the leg up high. We have three more. Two. And one. And lower. And then we'll do one more here, holding the weight, if you would like to make it harder. Otherwise, don't worry about that. So lift the hips up, top arm up, reaching out in front, elbow knee in together, and then reaching apart. In together and apart for four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and one more. And lower down. Then we're going to come all the way down onto our side. Just a few more here. Both legs up, top leg up, big circles forward, staying in front of the bottom leg. For four, three, hopefully you're feeling this in the side of the glutes here. Two, one, switch direction for one, two, three, five, nine, and ten. Lower down, grab the top of the ankle, stretching out the front of the thigh. And then letting go of that top ankle, we're going to switch to the opposite side. Grab your weight if you had it for the opposite arm. So starting off how you started the last one. So if you aren't going up on the elbow, I encourage you even just to try the first one up on the elbow just to see how you go. So definitely with the knee bent just gives you a little bit extra support. So arm straight up, lifting the hips up and lower for two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Keep that leg up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Kick the toes forward 
and then bring the leg back. So kicking forward and back. Point the toes up as you kick forward, point the toes back as you kick away. We have five more, four, three, two, and one. And lower. That one's harder than it looks, isn't it? <laughs> arm up, last one here with the arm up. Hips up, top leg up, reaching forward, elbow knee in together, and apart for two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and last one. And lower. Last two here, top leg up, big circles forward, staying in front of the bottom leg. If you need to rest that bottom leg down, that's okay. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Switch directions. One, two, three, four, five, six, eight, ten. Perfect. Grabbing the ankle, stretching out those quad muscles in the front of the right leg. Whichever side you're on. Good, and then we'll come onto our backs. We're gonna do some stretching and then we'll do some upper body strengthening exercises as well. Just at the end. Right knee to the chest. So if you don't have any light weights around, if you can grab any sort of um, tins of beans, water bottles, whatever you have lying around, that's all you need for the next exercises. Right knee to the chest and then pulling that right knee across into a spinal twist. Keeping that right arm in contact as you twist the right knee away from the right arm. Back to the center, left knee to the chest, shoulders are relaxed. Left arm out to the side, twisting that uh, left leg across. Back to the center. Right ankle over the left knee, grab behind the right thigh. We did a good bit of glute work today, so really make sure you give the glutes a good stretch. And switching over, left ankle over the right knee, grabbing behind that right thigh, pulling the knee into your chest. Left knee down on the, or left foot down on the mat, straighten up that right leg to stretch out the hamstring. And then grab behind that left leg, same thing here. Bend the left leg and then we'll grab two light weights. So if you don't have any weights, pause the video now and just go grab two water bottles, whatever you have around the house. And you could do these in sitting or standing. So we're gonna pinch your shoulders back, hold a light weight in each hand, lift straight up and lower back down. And lifting straight up and lower. So it's probably best if you're standing for these, just so you can do the full range. Straight up, so really keep your shoulders pinched back. Harder than it looks. Good, we have two more and then we'll go out to the side. One, two, good. And then shoulders pinched, straight out to the side. So think about pinching your shoulders together. Imagine you're squeezing a pencil behind or between your shoulder blades. So we really wanna activate those postural muscles that hold our shoulders back so we're not sit walking around like this. Good, so we have four more. Three, two, and one. And then we're gonna twist the thumbs down, shoulders pinched back again. We're gonna come at a slight angle, just like this. So this can be a little tricky. If this is pinching in your shoulder or if this is painful, try it without any weights. And if it's okay, then just do it with no weights. Otherwise, try to use the weights if you can. So this gets a really small muscle in our rotator cuff called your supraspinatus. It's usually quite weak, so this one could be a tough one. Good, we have three more. 
two, and one. Good. And then we're going to bring the arms at 90 degrees. I like to call this cactus arms. So elbows at 90, shoulders at 90. Straight down to, towards the ground and then back up to the starting position. So this is a sneaky one. It seems easy, but it's actually very hard. Good. Try not to drop the arms. I know they might be burning at this stage. We try to keep them lifted. We have four more. Three, two, and one. Last one, straight up overhead press, back down. Straight up and down, we're nearly there. So even though you're only holding maybe a one kg weight, these are tricky. Five more, four, three, two, and one. Perfect, putting the weights to the side. We'll just finish off with a nice arm stretch. So bring that right arm across your body Stretching out the shoulder on the right side. And then switching over, left arm across the body. You can add in a little neck stretch if you want as well. And then back to the center and we'll finish with that.